I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. All right, uh, question two here. It says, determine the moment of inertia to bear the y-axis. All right, so we'll, we'll do the y-axis. Uh, it would be the x squared times dA, right? And look over here, how do I find dA? It's dx times y, right, for one of those infinitely small uh, base triangle. And we sum of the amount, that's why we're doing integral. And if we're, and uh, we can write y in terms of x, which is given in the equation over here. And so now uh, in this equation, everything will be in terms of x, and we can you know, do the derivative in terms of dx. Uh, it should be a pretty simple problem, right? So ny equals zero, the bound. So we're putting x and get y, right? Because each x is a number, and then we put that in, gives a y value, and that's how we find the x, uh, y height, the height of the e triangle. So it should be going from zero to a, because we're putting y, uh, x value in, right? So this is x squared times uh, b divided by a n, a to the power of n times x n, and this whole thing uh, times dx, right? This is dA. Um, let's continue, a, uh, a, b times x to the power of n plus 2, right? And dx. Since b divided by n to the power a to the power of n is a constant, we can pull it out. Uh, worry about it later. So x to the power of n plus two. Uh, this is dx. And um, solve it real quick. X to the power of n plus three over n plus three. And this is from zero to a dx, right? And now this would be one to one over a to the power of uh, b, sorry, b, uh, b over here, and x. Oh, now we plug a in. Uh, it would be a to the power of m plus 3 over uh, m plus 3, right? These two cancels out, a and uh, cancels out this part. So now it would just be a to the power of 3 times b over m plus 3. And this is the inertia in terms of y-axis for this shape over here. Right. We're doing it from the, the base of this shape is um, touching the x-axis. That's why we don't have to use um, a uh, b minus this whole thing like we did for question one. This is a really simple version of, of question one. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, I would definitely suggest you to watch that one. That requires you to do more calculus. Um, but yeah, hope this quick video was able to help you to check your answers and help you out. So good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.